Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Kellen here from Start Your Systems, and welcome back to MX Shows ATV Reflex and MX Simulator today. We are going to take a look at another comparative track that was made by Matt Rob 14 or Matt Rob Designs in MX Simulator of Pine Top MX uh, from MX Shows ATV Reflex. Really cool thing that Matt Rob's been doing lately. He actually recreated every single supercross track from reflex as well and i'm going to get into that series at some point uh but i saw that he recreated pine top recently and uh, i actually don't think he's done one of the national tracks yet so maybe this is his first step into that we're going to see more out of him maybe we'll see sandwick and armadillo flats and all those other ones but obviously pine top is like a classic mx atv reflex national track um beautiful environment going up into the trees up into the hills and uh, nice job by Matt Rob to kind of come back to this and create another replica reflex track. Uh, I'll break this down a little bit more as I play the sim track here in just a moment. This is just kind of showing off the two tracks side by side. And I will say that I did have to speed up my sim footage by like about 10% to keep up with the reflex gameplay just because I think the track is a little bit more spread out and longer uh, in sim. And also my skills are probably not good enough to keep up with my own reflex rider. But it's a pretty good kind of comparison for a track uh there's a couple things that i think maybe are just slightly wrong about the uh you know the nature of the track or the way it looks uh but i'll hit on that as i get into the video with my sim lap just a last little turn right here but just again another really cool crossover um that you know he's done a, a lot of solid work into putting time into making something like this actually happen and as we go over the finish line jump right here i'm gonna go ahead and uh, jump back into sim like i said and we're going to uh Run a few laps here real quick, uh, just talking about this track, talking about some of the comparisons uh, from Reflex to this track and what I like and kind of what I don't like about it. Um, this is always really cool though. I love when people pull tracks, old tracks like this back and recreate them again. Uh, we've seen some Unleashed tracks come back and now we've seen more uh, Reflex tracks coming back, pretty much only courtesy of Matt Robbie. He's really uh, taken that and ran with it. But I know we also did Zach Palm doing the uh, Reflex loading map track as well, which I think a lot of people kind of enjoyed seeing that. Just because, again, it, you know, it's it's kind of digging up a little bit of nostalgia for all of us gamers that are familiar with Reflex to some degree. Uh, a lot of my Reflex gaming in the last, even pretty much like the last full decade at this point, has been custom tracks. So I actually haven't even uh, been, you know, too ingrained in playing some of these tracks that I played. 13 years ago now when the game first came out uh so really always kind of cool to to step back and see these tracks again see what they play like and then also compare it to what matt rob's done here in sim with these tracks um just because you know again sim is a game from 2008 reflex is a game from 2009 and so there's a little bit of like kind of crossover thinking back to those times of um you know what was wanted i guess from the community in each game at, at that time like reflex was great because it was uh, groundbreaking with the terrain deformation, uh, the actual like f visual aspects of it were fantastic and still kind of hold true to this day. Like Sim doesn't really hold a candle to Reflex even visually, uh, and it's you know it's been over a decade now since both games have come out. So um, really, really cool to see just kind of the comparisons between Sim, which we got in 2008, and Reflex, which then we ended up getting in 2009, and then comparing a track that is just a remake or a replica of those tracks uh, into this game. Like I said, Matt Rob, he's done, he's done a great job here. There's a couple things like right here, this is supposed to be a triple uh, before the finish line on Pine Top, but that's not the case. And I've tried really hard to clear this whole triple over the mountain down to uh, this little single, which you definitely can do in Reflex, but I just haven't been able to do it in Sim yet. Maybe I just don't have the right gearing on my 450, but still trying to send it. Um, through this little first corner complex, so I feel like this is a little bit tighter in here in the sim game or in the sim track than on the reflex track. And then obviously this berm didn't have ruts in it in reflex, but I do feel that some of this stuff, it's okay that he took some creative liberties with it because sim really relies on, uh, ruts and corner speed in the ruts. Uh, whereas reflex, like you can build ruts in that game, but it takes a little bit of time to get those like really established and laid down and then you can go faster in them but it's not really just um you know the only way that you can go fast in that game you can use the edges of the tracks and then the the berms to your advantage like pine top as a, as a national track uh, is one of those tracks that actually has quite a few little good berms to lay into there's a couple tracks um armadillo flats and you know i think it's called prairie valley which are the two like desert tracks from reflex 
that more or less took the you know the realistic national approach in a sense where they didn't include many berms or things to bank off of it's a lot of flat corners uh, a couple of them like do have some pre-made ruts in them but for the most part you just have to make do with a flat corner eventually you build a rut in reflex but um you know, Pine Top went the other direction where there's some pretty good sized bowl berms to bank off of in a lot of these corners. Uh, they even include a couple inside lines like right here in the sim version. If I can just get to this inside right here, Matt Rob included this tight little inside rut and then you're supposed to be able to jump up onto this table. In the reflex version, that was not that hard to get into that line because you could still trip into the corner. And I guess maybe I could still trip into the corner and hit that rut if I was good enough at this game. but kind of been sucking at it a little bit lately as you can see just by my lovely technique in the whoops right there and then this corner right here definitely is not like as sharp of a 90 again it's just kind of nitpicking things though like I'd rather appreciate the fact that um, you know he took the time and effort to even recreate this because getting the height maps for some of these maps is not necessarily the easiest thing to do some guys do have the capabilities of doing it but just on a first glance of looking at this map I think he built all this from scratch I don't really think he would have been able to pull this height map and make it look this way uh, specifically because the like big mountain just left of the finish line jump that we just passed wasn't there on the reflex map so he either added that if he pulled the 3d map or he did really just full-blown build this from scratch and if it is building it from scratch then of course you give him a lot more leeway because he's really kind of just kind of replicating it based on visual and not necessarily uh, going off of an actual map that's already preset with the undulation on it. So very good job then to kind of pull this together and actually tie in a really nice track. It's a little bit of a challenge. It took me a little bit to kind of get used to the flow of it in Sim versus in Reflex because Reflex, you can go pretty much wide open everywhere and, and it's not much of a problem. Like you, you might blow a corner once or twice, but you don't need to slow down that much. Sim obviously is much more it's a sim like you, you you have to slow down for corners you have to get on the brakes and actually make ruts so he kind of actually found a good balance there where um you know getting stopped and getting to these inside ruts is kind of hard on sim like this one right here i'm gonna probably blow this inside rut yeah just a little bit and then this big step down the hill nice little floater right there this section right here, I used to always throw just the filthiest whips in Reflex, but I'm OJing everything in Sim because you have to slow down quite a bit to actually hit those uh, nicely. But yeah, this is uh, overall just really cool. And like I said, he's done all the uh, Sim or the Reflex Supercross tracks now in Sim. So I haven't really figured out a way that I'm going to show that off yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that in one track a series or maybe, maybe what I'll end up doing is doing one... Um, you know like basically stadium per series so i already did the fort dodge 2 crossover which was the first one that he tackled but now he's done all of them and remember there's like stone point manchester kingston uh fort dodge and um i guess it's just called like the the docks or whatever but it's switch yard and boxcar that are are used for those um so i wonder maybe i'll, I'll just kind of throw those together um you know two maps per video essentially and then talk about it in sim and uh, switch it back over to reflex and talk about what it looks like at reflex as well because those supercross tracks are still some of my favorite supercross tracks i've ever played and as you guys know a lot of the um, creativity behind some of the maps in reflex came from my good buddy chris riesenberg that's you know that's right up his alley back in those days is working uh in reflex and alive he was a part of the track creation crew and development team within rainbow studios back then and we've seen the amazing amount of work that Chris has put into tracks and sim since those days so um, again kind of talking about the nostalgia of going back and seeing those you know reflex versus sim comparisons how the games look over the years Chris probably looks back at these and is like man I almost you know super nostalgia remember that different time of my life when I'm building tracks as a game developer and stuff like that so I know what I did, the Fort Dodge 2 replica, I had mentioned, you know, if Chris watches this, maybe he could add some insight. I don't believe he ever did watch it, but um, yeah, just anytime if you're watching these, Chris, just uh, maybe get down in the comment section below and offer your thoughts about, um, you know, building these tracks or, or helping out building these tracks, because I know you were not the only track designer on the on the team back then, but just uh, always cool to hear your, your thoughts on what went into building these tracks back then and and now what you think of the comparison that matt rob's done with the the pine top track here and some of the other tracks that we've already shown off by him Ugh, 
Let's see if we can throw an absolute filthy whip down the hill here. This one used to be able to go so far down the hill in this game and not crash. But as you can see, I crashed right here. What I always thought was weird about that downhill in Reflex too was that there was a lot of times that I sent it pretty far down the hill but not all the way to the bottom or anything like that. And enough so where I was definitely still hitting the downslope and, and I would get the Reflex stick even though like I gently touched the ground. Like it was a soft landing but it just... Maybe the Reflex... Uh, system was almost built in so that once you're going a certain speed, you're automatically going to hit the ground uh, with the reflex stick. So I don't know. It's kind of interesting how that how the game system used to work, I guess, back then. But I digress. Let's finish up this lap right here, and I'll send you guys on your way today. If you guys want to try out this track, uh, the link will be in the description below, so you can download this track, install it into your sim, try it out for yourself, and uh, hit me back up here. Go uh, try out the track. Play it yourself and then come back and tell me what you like or dislike about Matt Robb's uh, you know, replica of it. Things that you wish he would have done either a little bit different or maybe things that uh, you like that he did better with this rendition versus the full-blown replica uh, from Reflex. But just really, really cool. Like I said, just wanted to hit on this a little bit today. Um, Going to focus on recreating those uh, or, or creating those videos for those recreated tracks in the Supercross series. And I uh, have to imagine that Matt Robb is off to the races with building some more national tracks because he did get a lot of positive feedback when he released this one to the public and sim. Everybody was pretty stoked about that. Uh, so yeah, very excited to uh, keep breaking these tracks down and hopefully you guys enjoyed this one as well. As always, if you guys did like this one, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. And hit me in the comment section below if you have any questions or concerns with getting this track installed into Sim or, or anything uh, about this track that you're maybe confused on. I can always help out there as well. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for tuning in to another video here on Start Your Systems. My name is Kellen, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So long for now.